What's up guys, it's Machanga back with another video. You may or may not have seen my review of the HP MVX360 13 with the AMD Ryzen 5 processor. That is a fantastic laptop, but I wanted to check out an even more affordable option. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 14. This is a two-in-one laptop and as a college student and technology consultant, I appreciate the balance between power, portability, and overall value. Let's get the specs and pricing out of the way. My review unit arrived with the AMD Rising 5 4500U processor with AMD Radeon graphics. We get 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 256 gigs of NVMe storage for a respectable $599 US. If you need a bit more horsepower, you can purchase the Ryzen 7 model for around $675. On the Lenovo website, you can also get an 8% discount if you're a student or a teacher, but I don't know how long that will last. When I'm thinking about an everyday laptop for school, programming, and working from home, this one is towards the top of my list. All the relevant links with updated pricing will be listed below in the video description. Unlike some other laptops I've tested and reviewed, this one is plastic. Now, there's no need to panic about the build quality because it actually feels durable. Something I love about this particular body is that it doesn't pick up fingerprints easily. Pretty much every metal body laptop I've used picks up fingerprints within seconds of holding it. It doesn't feel cheap and it doesn't creak, so I wasn't concerned about putting this in my bag at all. Lenovo calls this color graphite gray and it looks pretty muted. At 1.5 kilograms or 3.3 pounds, it's only slightly heavier than the comparable MV x 360 13. In my opinion, the weight helps to eliminate the impression that this is a cheap laptop that you need to baby. It's still lightweight enough to feel compact and travel friendly though. Taking a look at the ports, on the left side there's the power port, a HDMI port, a USB type C port that supports power delivery, data as well as display out, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone microphone combo jack. Here on the right side we get the power button, the full size SD card reader, and two USB type A ports. I was most happy to see the full size SD card reader and full size HDMI port since I didn't get those on my X360 13. Normally a premium filling build requires all metal, aluminum, or carbon fiber, but I cannot scoff at the build quality on the Flex 5. It doesn't have that cool to the touch feel I'm used to with some of my other laptops, but this one has some good grip to it while feeling soft at the same time, and I don't have to constantly wipe it off before I put it away. While we're talking about the design, we get dual front firing speakers with Dolby Audio. They sound quite good and very clear. They do lack real deep bass, but for laptop speakers, I'm really happy with them. This is a 14 inch touchscreen display with a 16 by nine aspect ratio and a resolution of 1920 by 1080. This full HD screen looks good enough for watching movies and YouTube videos, but if you want or need color accuracy, you might want to look elsewhere. With only 65% sRGB coverage, this may not be the best choice if you edit photos and videos as more than just a hobby. If that is more of a priority to you, definitely expect a little bit of a price jump and you can go ahead and grab the X360 instead. The Flex 5 has average brightness at a bit over 350 nits. The display is also glossy, but indoors, that won't be a problem for most people. The bezels aren't the slimmest at the top and the bottom of the screen, but I call them entertainment friendly. Even if they weren't as narrow as they are, in this price range, I don't really care about slim bezels. So up top, we have a 720p webcam with a physical shutter. The quality is just like almost every other HD laptop webcam, so it's good for web conferences and video calls. Whenever you're done with your Google Meets and your Zoom calls, you can easily engage the privacy shutter. Many of us are working from home and having to share the space with family members, so being able to control the webcam access can not only protect you, but anyone else that may need to use your laptop. This webcam does not include Windows Hello technology with facial recognition for logging into the 
laptop, but at this price, that shouldn't really disappoint you. There's also a dedicated button on the keyboard to mute the microphone. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm working with other people in the house, being able to mute my mic quickly is critical. We do get another layer of security here with the fingerprint reader. It's been fast and accurate for me so far. This is a convertible two-in-one laptop with a touch screen, so you have a number of folding positions you can use. Between tablet mode and tent mode, I don't have the need for each one, but being able to lay this flat for writing and drawing is great. The 360 degree hinge feels really good and rigid. This does have pen support and my unit came with the Lenovo digital pen in the box. Taking notes and sketching felt nice and natural with good palm rejection. One important hardware consideration when buying a laptop is the keyboard. This is a nice tactile keyboard with decent key travel. I never got fatigued while typing on it. Now it's not my ThinkPad quality experience, but it doesn't feel cramped and it has adjustable backlighting for working in low light situations. The trackpad is plastic, but it still feels smooth and it functions perfectly. It's using precision drivers and it's responsive with all of the Windows 10 gestures I use the most. If you're considering this laptop, I highly recommend researching the configuration that best fits your needs and just buying that one, even if you have to save up for it. I say that because your upgrade options are very limited, just like a lot of other Ultrabooks. While you can upgrade the M.2 drive, the RAM is soldered on, so that's something to consider. I didn't have any connectivity issues with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on this Flex 5. I would prefer Wi-Fi 6, but I didn't miss it. The range and speeds were great. So the the true reason I love this laptop and why I feel this should be in a lot of backpacks and briefcases is the performance. This Ryzen laptop is less than $600, but it performs well above its price category. Running the AMD Ryzen 4500U processor with integrated AMD Radeon graphics, the results are fantastic. If you're a student, a developer doing coding, you want a reliable laptop for working at home, you will not be disappointed with this model. Even if you want to do some light gaming, this will give you respectable frame rates at 1080p in many titles, including GTA 5, Fortnite, The Witcher 3, and Rocket League. I'm going to say this as clearly as I can. If you're trying to decide between the AMD and Intel variants, choose AMD. This laptop never got unreasonably hot, even while running performance benchmarks, but the fans really did kick into high gear using the performance mode. Again, not terrible at all. Using intelligent cooling keeps everything nice and balanced. The battery in this laptop is 52.5 watt hours, and I've consistently gotten nearly nine hours at 50% brightness watching TV shows on Netflix and just browsing the web. The battery life was more than enough for me and I think most users will agree. Once you do need to charge it up, the included 65 watt power adapter can get you to 100% in around two hours. Not bad at all. You've probably guessed it by now, but I'll say it again, buy this laptop. This is not a sponsored video, so I'm not getting paid by Lenovo or AMD. I can genuinely say that the price to performance ratio is insane with this Ryzen laptop. For nearly everyone that isn't a professional video editor that's editing 4K footage or wanting a dedicated gaming machine, this is an easy recommendation. I'm by no means calling this a perfect laptop. The screen is not color accurate, the RAM cannot be upgraded, and there's no Thunderbolt 3. But by a massive margin, the pros beat out the cons with this one. You get plenty of useful ports, the speakers sound good, the performance is impressive, the battery life is good, and the price is low. The perfect laptop doesn't exist, and at this price, I simply cannot complain. For the consumer that wants a portable laptop that can also be used as a big tablet, this is a top contender. Tell me down in the comment section if this sounds like the right laptop for you. I've been using the Ryzen machines more and more and it's honestly been a breath of fresh air. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you feel like it, jump down in the comment section and let me know you like it. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post new content. It's been a pleasure sharing with you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.